All right, now we need to know, learn, and understand the cycles of the moon, the monthly cycle of the moon and its phases. The cycle of the moon. All right, so here's the question I got to kick this off with. Love this question. Um, suppose I tell you I'm out the other night and I saw a quarter moon. A quarter moon means it's half lit up. So here's the moon. The moon is a quarter moon. It's a quarter moon, you know, all night long from the time it rises to the time it sets. There's a quarter moon. You know, light on this side, dark on that side. And I love to ask this question. I, I turn to my students and I say, now, why is it that half the moon is dark? What is a making it dark there? What is object is casting the shadow to make half the moon dark when you have a quarter moon like this? The student thinks for a little bit. The student says, well, it's got to be the Earth that's casting that shadow. And I love it when students answer that because that is completely, totally, 100% wrong. The phases of the moon have absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with the Earth's shadow. The Earth's shadow is not in any way, in the slightest little bit, connected to the phases of the moon. So here, this is dark. This is not the Earth's shadow. Not at all. Now, the truth is, sometimes the Earth's shadow does pass across the moon. That's a rare event. We call it an eclipse. So this is not the Earth's shadow. When you see quarter moon, crescent moon, gibbous moon, that dark part of the moon has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with the Earth's shadow. So let me, let me, let me mention the Earth's shadow. The Earth's shadow causes eclipses of the moon. Eclipses of the moon, but uh, of lunar eclipses, eclipses of the moon, but these are rare events. They happen every couple of years or so. These happen every couple of years. The pattern's a little bit complicated, but the details, but this is not a you know, regular monthly cycle. It happens every couple of years. It happens for a few hours where the Earth's shadow will pass across the moon for a few hours and then go away, and that's it. Eclipses are rare events. They happen every couple of years for a few hours. They're fun. They're cool. I encourage you to go out and see an eclipse. If you ever see in the newspaper or something, there's going to be an eclipse. See on the web, there's going to be an eclipse. Go out. Take a look and see it. It's kind of fun and neat to see. That has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with the regular monthly phases of the moon, with the moon being a crescent moon and a gibbous moon and a quarter moon. That shadow is not the Earth's shadow. So, what is it? What makes half the moon be dark? Well, okay, let's take a look at this. Here's there that diagram. Here's that dark side of the, the dark side of the moon sort of thing. And what's going on here? Well, the reason why this is dark is because the sun is over that way. Here, let's add our friend Mr. Sun to the diagram. And the sun, well, out in space, it's harsh lighting. There's one source of light, the sun. So the sun lights up half of everything. The sun lights up half of the Earth. The half of the Earth that the sun lights up, we call day. The half of the Earth that's on the other side, the side facing away from the sun, we call night. Same deal with the moon. When I see a quarter moon, the moon's half lit up, half in dark, what's going on there? Well, this is the day side of the moon. This is the night side of the moon. Why is it dark over there? What's blocking the light? Well, what's blocking the light is the moon itself. If I'm, I don't know, if I'm standing right here, there I am standing right there. Why can't I see the sun? Well, the moon's in the way. The moon is between me and the sun. The moon itself casts this shadow. The sun only lights up half of the moon. And so that's why, that's what causes the phases of the moon. At all times, the sun lights up exactly one half of the moon, leaving half of it in shadow, the side facing away from the sun. But then depending on our angle to the moon, our view of the moon, we can see more or less, or sometimes we see just the whole day side. That's a full moon. Sometimes we see different portions of it. So that's what's going on. Key point, it is not the phases. The phases of the moon are not caused by the Earth's shadow. It is not the Earth's shadow blocking the sun's light, which causes the phase of the moon. That causes is eclipses. Those are rare, unusual, fun, cool, exciting events, but they happen for a few hours every couple of years or so. That's not what's going on here. So let's talk about this. We want to do the cycles of the moon. So let's see. So let's do some diagrams of this and see how these cycles work. And there's, so what we can do is, all right, I'm going to put the earth right here. Drawings are all not to scale. <laughs> In general, space is big and these things are all, if they were all to scale, you know, the, the, the earth would be the size of a pea and the sun would be the size, or the, the moon would be the size of a grain of sand and then the sun would be a few miles in that direction. So here's what's going on. So here's the earth. 
And so what's going on with the Earth? This is the Earth's night side. This is the Earth's day side. And so as the Earth rotates, everything rotates counterclockwise, uh, viewed from above the Earth's North Pole. So in this diagram, I'm going to put the Earth's North Pole basically right in the middle. So we're here in the United States, kind of halfway from the North Pole and the equator. And so we're going round and round here. So here's noon. Here's midnight. Midnight. Here's sunset. I'm going to round this off and say it's an equinox day just to make the math easier. So I'm going to say sunset's just about 6 p.m. Sunrise is just about 6 a.m. And so what's happening? So here's the sun, and then the moon goes in circles around the earth. The moon goes in big circles around the earth, goes in counterclockwise circles around the earth. One circle every oh, 29 days, so roughly a month. Our modern months have nothing to do with the phases of the moon, but they're, they're, they're still inspired by that. So if I put the moon right here. Well, let's see. The side that's lit up is the side facing the sun. So there's the day side. There's the night side. And oh, we can see all of it. Unless unless things are just perfectly lined up so that the earth casts a shadow in the moon. And that, that happens only rarely. So what do we see? We see the entirety of the day side of the moon. So this is what we call a full moon. All right. And then as the moon goes around in its cycle, uh, let's see, over here, now again, we've got about half of the moon lit up. So, well, the sun always lights up half of the moon, but now if I'm viewing from the Earth, I look up at the moon and I see, I see most of this day side, but then I see a little bit of that dark, dark part of the moon, then a little bit of the moon's night side. So what do I see? I see the moon is mostly lit up, but then there's kind of a side of it which is not completely lit up. We call that a gibbous moon. Gibbous moon. The moon is more than half lit up from my perspective. We move over here, and what do I see over here? This is, ah, now we see, now we see half of the moon's night side, half of the moon's day side. This is what we call a quarter moon. Quarter moon, it's a quarter moon, you'd think, well, it's a half moon and a quarter moon are the same things. It's a half moon because the moon is half lit up, half in darkness. Quarter moon because it's a quarter of the way through its cycle. Now, if the moon keeps moving here, well, what do we have? Let's see, over here we've got, okay, here's the night side, here's the day side, and if I'm viewing from the Earth, oh, I see mostly the night side, but a little bit of this lit up portion, that's a crescent moon. A crescent moon is the moon that is less than half lit up, so here's crescent. And then if I put the moon here, well, good grief, what am I going to see if I put the moon right there? Shoot, I'm looking straight at the night side of the moon, so you can't see it at all. This is what we call a new moon. So if anyone says to you, wow, I saw a new moon out last night, you know that person is lying to you. It's impossible to see a new moon. A new moon is the phase of the moon that you can't see. So past the new moon, okay, now it's going to come over here. Now we've got, there's that night side. I'm viewing from the earth. Oh, I see mostly the night side, a little bit of the lit up side. So again, here's another crescent moon. Over here now, okay, the side of the moon facing the uh, sun is, is the day side that's lit up. Here's the, oh, here's another quarter moon. And then here is, let's see, here is, again, here's going to be another gibbous moon, because now I see mostly a lit up moon with a little bit not lit up, so here is a gibbous. All right, and then now we can further classify this, and we're going to say, usually we call a lunar cycle, we start at the new moon, and then go all the way through to where we can't see the moon again. So this, this is what we call a first quarter moon, because it's the first quarter of the way through the cycle. Full is halfway through the cycle. Here is a third quarter moon. And on this part of the cycle, where we're going from new to full, while well, we're going from new to full, what's happening? Well, each day, the the moon, from my perspective, looks a little thicker, a little bit more and more and more lit up. As it's more and more lit up, we call that a waxing moon, because it's growing stronger, it's growing bigger. Sometimes people think about wax dripping on it, like from an old-fashioned candle, so it gets thicker and thicker. So this is what we call a waxing crescent down here. A first quarter is a waxing moon. This is a waxing gibbous moon. And then, as we go to full, now there's a gibbous moon. Ah, but now on this side of the cycle, this half of the cycle, we're going from full to new, so it's getting less and less and less and less of a moon. Every day, you look at from one day to the next, you see a little bit less and less and less of the moon lit up. So this is a waning part of the cycle. So this is a waning, W-A-N-I-N-G, not waning, waning. This is a waning gibbous moon, a third quarter moon is waning, and this is a waning a waning crescent moon. So this is the waxing part of the cycle, the waning part of the cycle, and the moon goes away, and you don't see it again. Excellent. So this is how we've got it. We can do the cycle of the moon, and then the moon does this every month. During every different month, you can see this. Cool.